Hello YouTube. So Paul coming at you. Uh, Toronto Expo Day One. No, Toronto Fall Expo Day One. Little pickups, as I know you're all eagerly awaiting. Uh, nothing too crazy, but I, I did get the Grail of Grails. Uh, PC card for life. Uh, but before I get into that, uh, just do some a quick review. Uh, showed up early because uh, I do have a VIP pass, and like Mike Tyson said, everybody's got a plan till they get punched in the face. And uh, yeah, got in early. Started chatting with Joe, the good doctor, as well. Or Joe started talking to a dealer. You know, cool conversation. Fun conversation about uh, reminiscing about. Toronto Maple Leafs, and I, I think there were, might have been Blue Jays of, of yesterday. And, and then, uh, yeah, and then ran into Eric Sanderson Tor and turned around, and next thing I you know, uh, the whole reason I wanted to get there early was to drop off a PSA submission, and bam, turn around, huge line. So I'm like, I'm not going to do it. Uh, line's a submit, and whenever they come back, they come back kind of deal. So, um, yeah, so it is what it is. Uh, I said I can delay and do it tomorrow. So, um, but yeah, pick up, uh, picked up the card. It's a hard cover. Uh, nice right item. I uh, read the prologue when I had a moment to sit down uh, at the, uh, at the, what do you call it? I found a chair oh, where they do the interviews and I sat down there and read the prologue and I think I'm going to enjoy this, uh, especially after uh, Brian Gray and uh, interviewing uh, Mastro and you know, Carlos's subsequent interview and hopefully there's more to the story to be added at a later date, so looking forward to that. Uh, not gonna lie, I do like uh, books on dealing with sordid histories or whatever, and this promises to cover it, especially the card in all its glory, so. But, uh, yeah, so spent the day walking around. Um, this show is much bigger. Like all of a sudden, you realize, hey, I haven't seen some. I know people are here, and I have not seen them at all. And you know, it's not like the last year's show where you had a good chance of running into somebody at some point. So, um, but yeah, good day overall. Um, uh, what do I want to show off first? Well, first pick up a Doug Wheat from. It's, uh, not a refractor because it's not tops, but a uh, number card, a gold rainbow. It's a refractor adjacent. So I picked that up. Uh, funny story on this. You see the yellow tag. And as I was going through the box, because he had monster boxes set out by teams, I saw this one with a, a, a sticker that was like $20, and this is a $5 sticker. So you know, put the $20 back because it was the first one I found and found this one. Same card. So, I'll add it. Uh, I don't go too crazy for non-playing days. Uh, next are from what is this here? 9697 Pinnacle Be a Player. Uh, Scott Thornton autograph. And yeah, I'm going to pick away at the set if I can find these cheap enough. And then there's an Adam Burt. And then, uh, as promised, go to goats, the grail. Chippo the clown. I mean, look at it. It's autographed by Chippo. In Pittsburgh with the Stanley Cup. I'm like, when I first saw this, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Pardon the... Uh, the potty mouth language. But when I flipped it over, I discovered Chippo's from Pittsburgh and part of Chippo's clown clan. Um, 
I'm like, I gotta have this. I will pay full sticker price for this. So uh, yeah, uh, I do enjoy this. Entertains alone or teams with members of his family. Chippo's clown clan. Uh, by entertained, you mean commit mass murder? Just curious. Uh, to provide uh, clown magic shows, loon sculptures, and face painting. And probably murder. Uh, leads the league in fun batted in. Definitely a serial killer. So I haven't really looked too far into this, but uh, if Chippo the Clown is like the Pittsburgh Strangler, I like I'm looking forward to discovering this on Wikipedia or something. So yes, go to Goats, Chippo the Clown. Um, I, I I honestly don't know what else to say. Like like <laughs> you know. If I never to buy another card again, my life will have been a life well lived. So there you have it, uh, Chippo the Clown. Uh, as for tomorrow, the plan is to show up early, drop off my stuff at PSA, and then uh, yeah, I'm going to do some touristy stuff, uh, go to Woodbine. Uh, that is now the plan. So uh, big day racing. So we'll see what it goes from there. And uh, there's like three grade three races. So that's like the third grade of the top level. Get it, grade three. Anyways, go watch uh, some of those races with some really nicely bred horses and some superstar jockeys and trainers. And yeah, gonna enjoy the day. And then I think Sunday I'll go back to finish the expo off, see what I can see, maybe, maybe, uh, see where some things are at and uh, go from there. So there you have it. As Ed Wesker Griff says, uh, get amongst it, y'all.